All right, you guys. First, we're going to add our oil. Whichever oil you guys want. I'm actually choosing to use avocado oil because that's what I mainly use. I don't know. What do you think that is? Like two tablespoons about? Again, I'm eyeballing everything you guys. You guys know me. And next, you'll be adding in some garlic. All right, once the oil is a little warm, I don't know, should I say warm? Should I say hot? It's not really that hot. I'm gonna add a spoonful of garlic like this. I have the pre-minced garlic from Costco, so that's what I'm gonna use. About a spoonful, and it should be like two tablespoons. If you guys have fresh garlic, that's always the best way to go, but I'm trying to make this easy and simple as possible. So, you're gonna let your garlic sizzle. throw in you know your leftover beef chicken or turkey or whatever you guys had on Thanksgiving Day or if it's not Thanksgiving Day whatever leftover you guys had you can see that I'm wearing gloves because I am going to share my food with others. All right get this nice and warm nice and hot All right, so it's been about two minutes, and again, you don't have to cook this for that long, you guys, because this is basically your leftovers. You're trying to make some leftover magic. So, after two minutes, two, three minutes, I'm going to throw in your veggies. This is about a cup and a half, two cups, I want to say, of rice green, some good rice peas, and some diced carrots. Diced peas? Are you serious? Some peas and carrots. Frozen peas and carrots. You guys have leftover corn. You guys can put in corn, too. But it's really up to you. Make this you, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. And it's only like the onion garlic and stuff. Right, you guys know this is going to be cooking in the oven for a little bit. So really, you don't need to warm it up fully. So let it sit for about another minute or two. And then we're going to throw in the cream of chicken. Hear that sizzle? Mm-hmm. Right, you see how thick it is, you guys? Thick. I'm going to add some heavy cream, about a cup of heavy cream to start off with. And this is the part where you're just going to let it simmer. And it's cold cream. It came out of the fridge. So you're just going to have to warm it up in the pan. <laughs> All right, you guys. You see that? Now let it marry each other. Let it get along. All right? Let the flavors get along. All right, guys. Sprinkle in some salt. Salt's going to be up to you, you guys, how much salt you guys want. Maybe like half a teaspoon. Try it out first and taste it. Need more? Add more. Some people use chicken stock in here too. It's up to you. But I just like the heavy cream. That's perfectly fine with us. So good, you guys. This is something great that you can make for your family with leftovers, especially the next morning after Thanksgiving. Consistency. 
All right, you guys, you're gonna butter up a baking dish, Pyrex. This is, I believe, a nine by 13. How do you guys feel about opening up a biscuit? It's probably backwards, like a, a biscuit container. I find it kind of scary and I find myself screaming sometimes. Let me try this. Oh shit! Oh my god, see? Scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright you guys, you're gonna take this apart one by one. There should be eight jumbos in here. So what I like to do is I like to peel this apart for the bottom layer at least. Place it down like that. Peel a little bit more. Place it down like that. All right. It's gonna be about six. If you wanna fill in the gaps, feel free to fill in the gaps, but the top actually matters the most, you guys. All right, and now we got that in. So, now we put our pot pie filling. Again, we like ours more thick. If you guys don't, again, you can always add in some chicken stock. If you guys don't wanna use so much cream, but it's the holidays, you guys. We only celebrate Thanksgiving. Once a year, oh gosh, got some on the counter. So I said, hey, let's just put all cream in it. Okay, let's get a napkin and wipe that down before we finish this. All right, and you guys, If you have more biscuit dough, obviously, you know, put more, but I only have one can, so I'm gonna peel it apart again. It's gonna fluff up anyways because it's the jumbo one and you guys definitely wanna use the jumbo one when it comes to this recipe. Jumbo, jumbo, it's gonna fluff up, it's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have enough. Have enough. I think I only have one can. I can always double check. I usually buy it if they have that deal. You know that um, what is it? The three for five deal. <gasps> Actually, it's gonna fit, you guys. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It could look better, but hey. It's going to taste amazing. All right, you guys. And what I like to do is to top this off with some cheese. I'm going to use some sharp cheddar. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Especially with that cheese press that's gonna happen after. Mmm, you guys. I also love making a breakfast casserole too. Pretty similar to this. Oh gosh, you guys. And guess what? It is ready to go in the oven. So you're gonna put this into a 350 degrees um, oven. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's done. Look at that cheese. Look at those biscuits. Mm. Can't wait to let it cool down a little bit and get right to it. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut into this and have my hubby take the furs. Bites. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this, you guys. Oh my god, the crust, the crust, the crust, the crust. Ooh.
Ooh, can you guys see that? Am I in? Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That was actually the perfect picture, but um, oh well. Look at this, you guys. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's kind of dark now. All right, mm. my little taste tester. Ready? It's hot. It's steaming. Be careful, okay? Yeah, a little bit of everything. It's <laughs> <laughs> very good. Awesome. As always. Look at that steam. Well, oh, thank you God. for trying. Thank you, babe. All right, you guys, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you guys are staying safe out there. Hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.